now the top 20. At number 20, tangible personalization. Last year we saw personalization entering the physical realm with personalized bobbleheads, custom dresses and crafts. This year, the credit crunch is accelerating this trend with a shift away from luxury products and a desire for personalized gifts. At 19, unservice. Forward-thinking businesses are getting customers to service themselves. From nightclubs and pubs where you serve your own beer to self-service hotels, unservice not only saves you money, it lets customers get a sense of independence and creative control. At 18, peacocking. Bright clothing, accessories, and cosmetics are all staples of a bright neon movement that clashes in the dismal face of the recession. Peacocking celebrates vibrant, bold, in-your-face colors that prove you don't need designer labels to scream, look at me. At 17, rental culture. Rentable luxury, clothing, baby toys, and fine art are just a few examples of the move towards temporary ownership. Unique rentals were popping up back in 2008, but the recession has fueled a move towards renting, fake status, and bartering. At 16, half formal. Shorts with suit jackets, blazers with jeans, and semi-suits. Young professionals are classing up business casual by adding a formal twist to their regular attire. At 15, pro-dependency. Next generation couples are already more likely to move in together than generations of the past. The credit crunch has accelerated this, driving demand towards pro-dependent products like matching tattoos, co-ed fashion, and even shared home decor. At 14, not so tricky, picky. Years ago, we saw food like tofu go from being an exotic import to a mainstream commodity. Now we're seeing a proliferation of food products that cater to unique needs, like gluten-free, vegetarian, and vegan diets. It's no longer tricky to be picky. At 13, do-it-yourself healthcare? Be prepared to welcome a new era in healthcare with palm-sized physicals, stress-sensing watches, and fertility monitor pods. With public healthcare continuing to be a big issue, consumers are looking for ways to ensure their own physical wellness without the need for a medical professional. At 12, nostalgia marketing. Storybook jewelry, monstrous designs, and Alice in Wonderland photo shoots are just a few examples of how storybook sentiment has gotten hold of consumers looking to escape economic woes and seek refuge in the fantasies of their past, sparking an interest in everything from where the wild things are products to Alice in Wonderland. At 11, crowdsource campaigns. Two years ago, consumer-generated ads were all the rage, but this year, involving your customers means crowdsourcing. Examples include crowdsourced billboards, window displays, and even crowdsourced TV commercials. At 10, exposed vulnerability. Social media has redefined our access to the personal lives of icons, celebrities, and friends. Taking this to the next level of reality, we're seeing everything from tweeting during childbirth to stars exposing unphotoshopped pictures and embarrassing moments. At 9, emotionology. Now humans aren't the only ones with feelings. Emotion-sensitive jewelry, playlists, and phones are manifesting your mood physically. Science and techies alike are exploring a world of emotion to see how it can be applied to technology. At 8, simpletizing. Fruit-inspired packaging, milk boxes with udders, and phonetic alcohol. In a cluttered world, visual clarity actually stands out. It also fits well with the desire to pursue lives of simplicity. At 7, Ecopolitan. Whether it's an underground abode, floating home, or high-rise living, Ecopolitan developments are quickly becoming a way of life. In addition to revitalizing urban centers with eco-friendly elements, nations are building niche cities that are specifically designed to meet ecological goals. At 6, Green Appliances. Soapless dishwashers, miniature laundry machines, and dishwashing cabinets are just a few examples of new eco products that over time increase efficiency for your wallet, but also help you to save the world. At 5, Nomad Abodes. The recession in combination with creative architecture have caused an influx of unique temporary housing. Portable apartments, futuristic houseboats, aquatecture, and cube living are just a few examples of modern nomadic living. At 4, pop-up tailing. Mobile retail displays, pop-up art studios, and shipping container bars are just a few examples of products and stores that bank on the exclusivity and surprise of pop-up retail. It's the latest way to generate buzz and quickly place your products into new markets. At 3, life swapping. Today you can swap homes, art, services, or even your entire closet wardrobe. Credit crunch citizens unwilling to compromise their lifestyles are swapping, bartering, and trading their way to a better life. At 2, do-it-yourself decor. Do-it-yourself art, furniture, and hobbies are the perfect fix for those who are credit crunched. 
Keep your ping pong balls, wine bottles, and plastic jugs because decorating your home has never been so affordable and culturally acceptable. At number one, next besting. Vintage fashion, convertible couture, sub brands, and credit crunch alternatives. Over the last year, people became more sensitive to excessive consumerism and have begun tying their success not just to luxury brands, but to functional products and life experience. Accordingly, instead of purchasing the priciest product or the biggest brand, people are trying new things in the pursuit of the next best alternative.